Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading what we're looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. It doesn't have to be, um, it is energy we're looking at but King of Pentacles more so the energy they're embodying. So this is someone who's uh, financially stable. Um, they do seem to be work focused. Even if we look at the imagery here, we have the Queen of Cups um, offering her cup to the King. His toes are pointed towards the Queen but he's looking away and that really caught my attention because he's looking away from the queen right i did ask what is this king focused on we have transformation complete healing of body mind spirit self-esteem so this person's been going through a lot of uh, major changes here which have not been easy for this person um, some of them could have ended a long-term relationship they may have lost someone um, recently in their family friend circle something but and others of you see it as a general reading um it can be on transitioning when it comes to their career right so they could have been going through a career change but a lot of you i'm getting this person may be ending another relationship for those of you that don't know this person because some of you do know this person and it will be a reconciliation but a lot of you i'm getting this is someone new but yeah, I, I see you um, being very much in love with this person. Queen of Cups is your energy. And you, you're a beautiful match. I actually really like the Queen of Cups and King of Pentacles together. And his toes are pointed towards you. So that is the direction they're intending on heading towards, right? So they're looking in your, well, they're pointed in your direction. But they do seem to be, um, what you'll notice when you're getting to know them is, yeah, they are a bit of a, a workaholic so they, they do seem to be distracted by their work is what i'm getting so it's not that they're doing anything sneaky or right behind your back i do want to get more about their personality because they didn't really give me much pretty much gave me your energy and their energy This is not the most emotional energy when you first meet them. They're very practical. Wow, Mars wanted to come through twice. It's a very masculine energy though. This is someone who takes action. They're not one to be lazy or, you know, waste their time. It's also very, it may not appear this way when you meet them, but they are very passionate. Maybe someone with a high sex drive here as well. But the way they present themselves to you is a very chill, laid back, down to earth, earthy, right? Yeah. Taurus energy, 12th house, Mars in 12th house, interesting. And the 10th house coming through, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this person self-made. Whatever they've achieved, it's because of their own effort. They're very hardworking is what I'm getting. And status does mean a lot to them. Um, how they appear to the world, others, is very significant. So I'm getting a very well-rounded, well-respected individual. And that is how they'll be treating you because the energy they're bringing into this relationship is the King of Pentacles, right? And this is someone mature. They're on your level, right? We have the King and the Queen. And a lot of you I'm getting, this is someone you likely will settle down with if I look at the rest of the spread. Mars in 12th house though, Scorpio, is a little bit difficult. Because Mars is the more action-oriented. It's take charge where the 12th house sort of dims that. It's almost like dimming Mars light in a way. So what tends to happen is that this can be someone who represses a lot of their uh, more so negative emotions. So that is coming through. This may not be the most passive aggressive energy is what I'm getting actually. They don't seem to be a bad person. But yeah, sometimes they can be, they're hard to read. They're, it's a complex energy. Some days they can be very forthright in your face. Other days they can come through as very shy reserved. So you'll have a fun time getting to know this person. 
But yeah, a lot of repressed energy coming through. Sometimes can be repressed anger here as well. This person won't be the most expressive. I'm almost getting a secret admirer energy. So they won't quite... You may have a hard time reading them because they're not being as expressive towards you initially while they're getting to know you. So it may be a tad bit frustrating is what I'm feeling. Let's get more. North Node, Destiny. For one, I'm getting that this is faded. You're meant to meet this person. Destiny is bringing you both together, but I'm also getting a, can be someone who's the spiritual leader with Mars 12th house, or they do something behind the scenes. This can be a surgeon, a doctor. It won't be for everyone, for some of you. I do have a career deck here, which we can pull out too. Um, but Mars in 12th house is a good placement for actors, performers, artists of any kind as well, right? So it really depends. Anything else? Chiron healing, yeah. And cancer coming through. Some of them, hmm, uh, I think I'm jumping ahead of myself, but yeah, this can be someone who is a healer or working in that field somehow. I actually want to pull out that deck right now because I'm curious to know just because of how um, work focused this person is. Like, what do they, what do, they do? I, I did get healer, right? So doctor. You know, I said doctor and look at take a sick day was the first card wanting to flip through. A healer of some kind. Mars in 12th house. What does this person do for a living? King of Pentacles. I'm not taking those. I have a card in here that shouldn't be in here. Let me pull that out. Some of you, it says realtor, and they were looking at, the, which is interesting with that Taurus energy. Um, we have him looking at the King of Pentacles, looking at the Hierophant, which can be buildings, right? Um, so definitely can be someone who's buying, selling houses. They can be a realtor, construction worker. Why is King of Pentacles, what does this King of Pentacles do for a living? Anything you can tell us about this energy? They're well off, regardless of what they do for a living. Traveler, so they may do something that involves traveling. Or they may be, you know, it's interesting because I asked, how will you meet this person? We have number 37. Um, that could hold some significance to you. We have smooth sailing, resolution ease, and we have the boat and water. So this person may be literally, you know, across oceans from you, from a different country. Um, if you feel that that's impossible for you to be dating someone um, that's in a different country, it can be that they've a foreigner, right? They've traveled to your country. Definitely seen that. What does this King of Pentacles do for a living? We have college and we have all the equations here. Mathematician. So yeah, this can be someone who is a student and they're still in college. But they come from a wealthy background, I'm getting. I don't think money is of concern for them if they're coming through as the King of Pentacles, right? If it was a page or a knight, I'd say, yeah, right? They have some work to do, but... They can also be a professor with Hierophant and King of Pentacles, a teacher of some kind. And some of you, yeah, college. Some of you, you may be traveling for college and that is how you run into this person um, through some professional assistance. We also have dentists, dentists wanting to come through. What flipped through? Fashion designer. Yeah, I was telling you, some of you with the artist, I was getting to, um, so, you know, some of you I was getting sort of the medical field doctor and others of you I was getting artist, fashion designer. So they may... Or they, you may just like the way they dress, but they definitely can be more artistic, fashion designer. What does this King of Pentacles do? 
<laughs> ballerina. Yeah, some of them are changing um, professions here. We have seek a career path and head back to school. So that's twice. Maybe they were doing some odd jobs here and there and now they're heading back to school. They're changing profession. And others of you, they're just working in a sort of that academic setting, right? I don't know in what capacity, but could be an admin. Like, I don't really know, but something to do with school, building. Sort of getting a nine to five a vibe from this person but with that fashion designer really depends but yeah how you'll meet Harfant and that smooth sailing boat this is when you're I'll give you the scenarios I'm getting online dating I definitely see that where you're looking for something committed right some of you even potentially marriage with Harfant and others of you it can be uh, when you're traveling for someone's wedding um, some get together, some seminar for your work, but travel seems to be involved. I don't necessarily see traveling for work, I'm more so traveling for leisure if that's the case. But yeah, online dating, this person, there may be some distance between the both of you initially is what I'm seeing with the boat. Or there may be some differences in your backgrounds. But for the most part, I'm seeing you're very compatible. When you'll meet, we have five of pentacles, six of swords. Sort of when you're moving away from, you know, lack mentality here really is what I'm getting with the Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, because she's also rowing her bow into calmer waters, right? And we actually have that bow imagery here twice for how and when. Some of you, it's when you're moving, right? Um, but there may be some drastic changes you're making here. Um, some of you leaving one job for another um, or just getting a new job in general, right? Um, so money is not a problem and that is sort of after you start your new job is this person will be heading your way is what I'm getting. But there's some transition here when it comes to you or this person when you meet. And if we take it literally at five and six could be important, so May, June. But a lot of you I'm getting winter will be significant for this meeting. Some of you it can be that you meet earlier, especially if it is online uh, connection, right? but you're not able to see each other face to face till later that is coming through because of the distance this person's intentions towards you we have death the fool yeah um they're traveling light here i don't see them being too serious i think they are a serious person but they're sort of casually dating or just trying to find the right person i'm not getting someone who has multiple options or is playing the field you know or has 10 other people interested not that vibe i'm getting from this person but they do seem to be open um to dating and trying to find someone who's suitable for them right um but yeah it is highlighting that they are coming out of something with death and the fool right death is talking about endings and fool is a new beginning a fresh slate so yeah you represent that new beginning for them when it comes to their love life because how they're approaching you we have two of cups ace of cups yeah, they're approaching you like you're an equal, right? It's, it's almost love at first sight for this person, so it's instant for them. I think it's mutual because we have the two people staring into each other's eyes here. Um, but yeah, this person will have their eye on you for sure. If it is an online dating or whatever, however you meet, I'm getting it's this person that will be approaching you for a lot of you. But I'm also getting those of you that uh, meet this person, you know, you're... Um, perhaps professional assistance, right? You, you're needing this person's help, or that'll be for maybe 5% of you, Scorpio. Uh, for those of you, I'm getting, you know, because she's holding out the cup to him, uh, regardless of gender. So it can be that you approach this person first, especially if it is some professional sector that you meet in. But otherwise, I'm getting it's this person that will be approaching you, specifically if it is an online meeting. But yeah, they're open to you, they're receptive, and they'll be physically very attracted to you is what I'm getting, but more so with the cups, it's a, you're evoking a lot of emotions within them. How they'll be feeling about you, we have 10 of wands, three of cups, world hermit, four of swords. Yeah, with that transformation complete, they're completing some karmic cycle here perhaps. Um, some of them may be moving, or just you being at a distance, right? Um, so there will be some challenges here, but this person's willing to put in the work. But I'm getting a little bit of an exhausted energy. This person is 
not only are they busy with whatever they do their career but they're also their dating life right i'm seeing good time management but sometimes it may be difficult for this person but yeah they'll be willing to put in the work perhaps even travel towards you right but i do see self-care here so this may be even if they're going through some difficult ending here i see them taking care of themselves i'm re really doing that internal work is coming through but yeah very chill um relaxed energy with hermit and four of swords and open to getting to know you starting off as a friend a friendship right is what i'm seeing but this person will be very loyal to you what i'm getting for a lot of you scorpio is that this person will have a choice between two or you may um, a lot of you it will be this person but this person will be choosing you and those of you that already know this person um, you feel intuitively that you know this person i'll get the physical characteristics to help you sort of figure that out but yeah those of you this person chose someone else or they were indecisive i see them picking you in the end so that is what is coming through so they choose you regardless of what your situation is how you'll be feeling we have knight of wands empress yeah you're loving yourself around the time you meet them but you're You'll have emotion for them. I'm seeing compassion come from you. You're very much in your feminine energy, Queen of Cups, Empress. But yeah, the way this person acts towards you, they flirt with you, you're feeling very good about yourself. You're feeling very attractive. It's almost feeling on top of the world. So you'll really enjoy this person's attention energy. You're feeling very attractive. And you find this person to be physically your type with Venus coming through in your feelings. Some of you, this person will be younger than you. Probably not by much, but maybe one to three years is what I'm getting. That's for some of you. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. For your outcome, we have Moon, Chariot, Lovers, clarified by Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. Um, some of you may be seeing 444 four, four around the time you meet this person or 222. Two, two. But we do have Moon, Chariot, and Four of Wands, which is 444. Four, four. Fours talk about structure, stability, right? And that is what this person was focused on and what they're looking for. And I feel it's a mutual energy. So yeah, I see a level of comfort here. But again, the Chariot is sort of being divided, right? One part of the Chariot is looking at the Moon. Moon represents our fears, insecurities. It can be our comfort zone right especially if there is travel involved one or both of you may have to make drastic changes sacrifices for the other person so really you'll have a decision to make do you want to stick to your comfort zone what you're familiar with or do you want to move forward in life right on the other hand we have the lovers a very strong union it's almost twin flame soulmate energy if you believe in those labels right but it's a very, very strong connection here is what I'm getting between the both of you. And a lot of you will overcome your fears and you will choose uh, this relationship. And um, they will choose you is what I'm getting. You both will choose each other, right? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. I see you both coming together and um, moving in together. Some of you marriage, commitment. That is the vibe. Okay, for your oracle cards, we have shocking events. Unexpected, surprise, did not see it coming, unpredictable. Yeah, this is faded, it's destined, you don't see it coming. I don't care where you're at. Um, uh, you could be online dating, but you have no idea. Um, something about the way this person enters your life is very unexpected, you don't see it coming. Some of you, it's a past person returning and you have given up hope, you don't think it's possible and things are turning around because we have three major arcana back to back in your outcome which is major it's telling me this is divinely guided you're meant to meet this person is what i'm seeing shocking events i did clarify that and we had risk and wedding <laughs> yeah some of you this is your future person we have taking a risk laying cards on the table journey into the unknown I was telling you about insecurities and fears coming through in your outcome. I think that is what is coming through here. Especially if you're packing your bags and you're moving to be with this person or they're moving to be with you. That's a risk within itself. This situation might move very quickly towards solid commitment or even marriage. And that's a bit of a warning I have for you. 
um, especially if this person isn't coming out of another marriage, um, be careful because there can be um, a chance that this won't work out if you don't take your time. So especially on this person's end because they're coming out of something, they're ending something, right? So we don't want to have that rebound situation. I don't see that, but they're telling me to tell you to take your time with this, right? Because there may be a tendency to rush things here. Um, I don't know why, but some of you, you may not make sense with this until you actually meet this person. And then you'll remember this message, hopefully. But they're saying take your time. And we have weddings, seeing a future with you, taking it to the next level. They choose you. Yes, four of wands, chariot, moon, they choose you. It's like you're their other half here, that yin-yang energy, right? It's you're perfect together is what I'm seeing. For their energy, we also have exhausted. Breaking point, tired of living a double life, too much drama on both sides. So yeah, whatever they're ending, I don't think it was easy for them. Some of you, it was a very difficult divorce. And that is why they're very focused on their security. Financial security is because, yeah, um, that situation may have been a bit messy and they may have spent a lot of their money, resources, right? Um, trying to get out of that situation. Some of them may even have kids, children from their previous connection. Uh, which is why too much drama on both sides and not everyone will be meeting someone that's already married or was married right so for those of you i'm getting they may have another option around the time you meet it's nothing malicious or secretive i'm getting it's more so just trying to find someone that's suitable that's compatible with them right and we have twin flame yeah lovers they are mirroring you, constant yearning to reconnect, soul connection. Yeah, a constant yearning to reconnect. Once you meet, it'll be difficult to stay away from each other is what I'm getting. Look at the embrace here. Very hot. The chemistry between the both of you will be on fire, I'm telling you. Constant yearning to reconnect. A past person can, it can be coming through as well. Anything else you want to tell Scorpio about this energy coming towards them? Night out. Yeah, they're a very masculine energy is what I was getting. We have the masculine in full control of the situation. Decisive in his actions. Hard to emotionally manipulate. Yeah, this person is very much in control of themselves, their circumstances, whatever. They're, they know what they want really is what I'm getting from that. Um, let me see. I do want to get maybe some personality traits here. So when you do meet them, how do you recognize them or if you know them, right? They'll help you figure out. And some of you, um, men watching, that masculine energy can be you, right? But we all have that in within us, the feminine and masculine, so it really depends. Who is this person coming towards? Some of you, they're a different culture race. And they're self-sacrificing. Yeah, that's that Mars in 12th house. They can be. Who is this king of pentacles? Mars in 12th house, I was telling you about that passive aggressive energy, right? We have aggressive, passive aggressive and aggressive comes through. Yeah, they're very passionate. You may not see that side right away, but you'll be pleasantly surprised. They're a go-getter, they'll come after you. And I think they'll approach you. What fell, let me grab that. So medium to tall. Indecisive. See, that can be also with the chariot a decision to make right king of pentacles he's looking in one direction his toes are pointed in another he has decisions to make he or she whatever their energy whoever you're wondering about while traveled we had that twice with that traveler for what profession they were in and well traveled some of them may travel for work with traveler coming through right or they may just be from a different location we have a useful so regardless of age, they do have a more youthful demeanor. We have good memory. Speaks more than one language. 
yeah, with well traveled, they may like learning different languages. We also have formal wear, lucky, so they may be someone who's very fortunate, especially when it comes to the material. We have generous because King of Pentacles is someone known to have that Midas touch, right? And we have gentleman, courteous, or woman, very sophisticated energy is what I'm getting from this person. They may take a while to uh, make up their mind, but once they do, they're very loyal, extremely loyal, right? With that Taurus fixed energy coming through. <sighs> what, is I what was I telling you? Extremely loyal, loyal. They may have tattoos, ears, I'm, I don't know, maybe something about their ears stands out, but they're a good listener, supportive. So we have a loyal ears and supportive. Perhaps this person, sh uh, person shows their support to you by listening to you, your concerns, your worries, right? Just being there for you. If this person says they'll do something, they will. They're trustworthy, is what is coming to mind. R, their first or last, first, middle, or last name. Can you tell me more about this energy? We have Zed. RZ. Athletic in their build. I was also seeing with my homemade deck, well built. So you may really like their body. I am getting an active energy from them with that Knight of Wands. Who is this King of Pentacles? Trustworthy. I love this. It's confirming everything I'm telling you. Here, trustworthy here. And they're very funny. One way you'll know that this is your person is they'll make you laugh really really funny at least you'll love their sense of humor and you may like something about their hair perhaps straight hair so we have loyal and trustworthy yeah you can depend on this person i love this energy for you seriously and by the way this king of when i do um who is the one readings or who will you marry this King of Pentacles has been coming out for your readings consistently. So a lot of you, this has strong potential to be the one. And also Scorpio, I'm being called to tell you, you know, um, I did ask who is coming towards you in 2022. Yeah, a lot of you, there's potential you'll meet this person this year. But even if you don't meet in the time frame I if they don't meet you within this time frame it doesn't mean that you won't ever meet this person right because we're all on different journeys timelines so don't give up hope right um, that a lot of you this person's in your destiny so you won't miss them but it, they're coming through strongly in the cards right so a lot of you i don't think they're far from you now you will be meeting them this year. Can you please tell me more about this King of Pentacles energy? This is the real deal, really. I'm seeing well-dressed, so you'll love. We had fashion designer and we had well-dressed. We have brunette and brown eyes wanting to come through. Practitioner. There may be something they're very skilled with, but again, that doctor vibe, or just someone who's highly learned. They're good at what they do. You'll be very impressed with their skills. They're very much capable. It's a provider. They may have freckles. It's an instant attraction. We have mature, yeah, which is why they're coming through as the king, right? Australian, so some of you, they are from Australia. We have oval face. Blonde. Braids. Blue eyes, long hair, let's get three more, bald, 
Asian and redhead medium hair scar yeah it really depends we had skinny plus size and we also had athletic more getting um this will be someone who's likely tall though is what i was getting yeah they can be completely bald but it can also be that i don't know what that haircut's called where they have um shorter hair towards the edges i don't know what that's called right so they may have that haircut what advice do you have for Scorpio in regards to this? Compassion. I don't think you need to be um, told this because you're coming through as the Queen of Cups. I choose compassion over criticism. Walking a mile in other people's shoes reminds me they might be going through something tougher than I think. Death. Yeah, when this person's acting a little off, um, be patient with them. They're amazing and they're a perfect match for you, but you may need, they may need a little bit more time to open up to you, right? Not everyone has your bang on intuition, so you may know they feel something, right? It's almost love at first sight, but they may have a hard time trusting those feelings initially. Sorry, Scorpio, the video did cut out there, but... Oh. I wanted to get a few more oracle cards and then we'll end with advice here. Anything else you can tell me about this King of Pentacles energy that is coming towards Scorpios in 2022? Um... I'm not sure actually I think I might need to clarify clarify don't know where I stand in this relationship yeah it's this person's energy for a lot of you Someone here may have been cheated on here as well. Yeah, strong physical attraction, but yeah, a lot of you, it's this person's energy. They may question, um, you may be hiding your feelings here initially as well, sort of protecting yourself, so they may have a hard time. I'm getting mutual energy, really. you both having a hard time reading each other. Perhaps not being the most um expressive we have this relationship is too intense and bottom deck i'm concerned about my finances yeah king of pentacles so yeah sometimes when they're quiet they're not messaging you as much you may feel like what are they up to behind your back but really they're just focused on their money and their job i think they work a lot or they may even have two jobs but for a lot of you just i don't know they're they seem to be off preoccupied with some work matter or their studies right if they're in school <laughs> soulmate Ugh. we had not only twin flames we have soulmate now true love is finding its way to you a new spiritual romance i'm telling you this is divinely guided it's divinely protected um just keep listening to your intuition go with the flow and surrender is what they're saying let go of any feelings of lack here five of pentacles and it will br help bring this person in sooner is what the message is but true love is finding its way to you this is the real deal it's true love and it's mutual celebrate no collaborate sorry we have keep an open heart and mind. Collaborate with people you can learn from. It doesn't have to be a solo act. Yeah, this is a teammate. Um, someone you'll have a strong friendship with. And, you know, life can be difficult, but this person will be very supportive and be, they'll be there for you if you ever need them, right? Initially as a friend is what I'm getting. But yeah, also collaborate can be that professional energy I was getting for some of you. You may have to collaborate with this person on some level, and that is how you meet. But more so just the dynamic between the both of you, right? It's a teammate. 
And then we, I accidentally said celebrate and celebrate is coming through. Celebrate the progress you've made and appreciate all that you already have. You've come a long way. Yeah. So they're wanting you to be proud of yourself. You've come a long way, right? And some of you have been waiting for this person. You've been manifesting for a while. And this meeting is a celebration, right? And I'm also getting wedding because we had that wedding energy and paired with celebrate. So your wedding will be amazing. I'm getting. We also have justice. But they're also telling you to loosen your grip and be adaptable. Keep an open mind, right? We have justice will be done to those who oppose you. The truth will be revealed. Some of you may feel you're getting your justice in the form of this beautiful relationship, right? It can be that you were, have been through some difficult relationships here in the past and it's almost a sigh of relief and feeling like, okay, I finally met that person, right? But I can see myself with long term. I forgot to get you this dating deck. Um, I'll pull two from this deck as well. One or both of you will be very guarded. And we have awkward moment. <laughs> this is so funny. We have poker face and awkward moment. Yeah. So anyone with a poker face, that it can yeah, lead to some awkward moments here. Um, that is another way you'll know that it's this person because they'll be weird. Um, perhaps just staring at you and not saying anything. Um, you're having a hard time reading them because they have a poker face or you may... I don't get that. Queen of Cups is not normally a poker face. Um, Empress isn't either. More of a King of Swords energy, but we had King of Pentacles. Can be. I don't know. We have fun times. Time passes by so quickly when I'm with you. Yeah, you'll have, you share a similar sense of humor. I'm seeing a lot of laughter here. It's almost like looking forward to see someone. Because they make you, they fulfill you. They make you so happy. This person will make you so happy and you'll make this person very happy. A lot of fun dates here once you get past that initial awkwardness. This will take its time. The attraction is instant, but because of someone's held back behavior, yeah, they'll take a little bit of time to open up. So perhaps the first date may be a little bit rocky, second date will be a little bit better, and from there on it's history. One more for this energy, King of Pentacles. Chemistry, not surprised. The chemistry is so strong, it's setting my mind on fire. Ace of Wands. And you make this first and feel like a kid again, but it's really important that you take it slow. We have take it slow, don't want to mess things up, and young at heart, you make me feel like a kid again. Yeah. Physical attraction coming through. True love traditional opposites attract so there may be some differences here um, can be that culture race skin color whatever but can be personalities right we have the cups the water and earth coming through though this is a beautiful match you can help this person with their emotions and they may even help you practically um, with your finances your career um, they always want to be there for you but acts of service will be significant here maybe this person's love language or they may even want to spoil you um because you know taurus rules our second house and money assets so they may want to buy you things but also second house can be compliments right but yeah this person will want to be there for you and provide you with safety security you'll feel very comfortable in this person's presence once you get past that initial you know, awkwardness, but it's nothing that you can't work through is what I'm getting because your outcome is a lot of comfort, right? Moon chariots, like a hug, a hug, right? A warm hug really is what your relationship feels like. You'll have a very comfy, cozy home is what I'm getting as well. Very welcoming. 
it's beautiful and this connection will be very soothing nurturing to the both of you and a lot of you i'm getting children come through here i definitely see children definitely see a feminine energy so maybe a baby girl or something but it really depends i think that is what i have for you scorpio hopefully this will resonate i really think this is an amazing relationship and i wish it resonates with every single one of you um keep your thoughts positive keep manifesting and keep moving forward is what i always say and you're manifesting something perfect for you but yes take care of yourself and i will see you next week bye